uh, the no as far as mounting on the left and three Argus five, on the right. Please. No, as far as mounting on the vehicle. Oh, Argus um, is on top and Herc's on bottom. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Herc's on our head is facing up. It's a little thing you see on the sticking out of the top of the buoyancy block, and the Argus one faces down. Okay, other way around. I'm just a video guy. I don't remember this stuff. Come back just a little closer to you there. I'll come down. How far away is waypoint three? Three hundred and eighty meters. Okay. So we've pretty much gone halfway, halfway up. What's that waypoint three? So waypoint three should be at a, let's see. Is that waypoint three is at the top, is it? What's that? Yeah. Depth yeah. of night. These are just for reference, the, these two waypoints. Right. Yeah, 1932, so it's still a couple hundred meters. So Katachi, when you draw that, where does it give you the uh, like angle required? Uh, on the bottom left. Oh. So there's a first one is a distance, second one is the head bearing. Got it. Yeah. Thanks. We have a question. Sure. It has to do with rocks, though. Mm -hmm. So, like, our mo our highest mountain has like ads on top. Do you guys find any of that in the ocean, or has what on what on top? Ads. I don't ads? know. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like Ops. a quarry. Like yeah, a ads, quarry. Ads quarry. Ads quarry. Like for from tools that people <laughs> took tools from. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, yeah. 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 So there's like a special kind of rock that they use, and they would carve that and sharpen it to make right. sharp tools from. And yeah. right. we're wondering if th you guys have ever come across any of those kinds of quarries under the ocean, or yeah, like I don't know, like you know. Well, and yeah, I mean, th this is obviously way too deep because humans didn't weren't around when these rocks were above above you know on islands, but. Uh, Sort of in coastal environments, um, there's evidence of um, paleo paleolithic formations, uh, Stone Age formations, where humans used to live and take tools, but then they got flooded out by rising sea level. But that would only be in water depths of like 100 meters or less. A city of Do you know what makes that kind of rock? Is that a valid yeah. question? Yeah, well, I think all the rocks here are really uh, basaltic, um, but there there are some, like obsidian. Have you heard of obsidian? Um, it's like volcanic glass, mm. and that that can get really sharp. It, it's uh, it's almost like quartz uh, yeah. that that uh, that you can sharpen really, really precisely. We used to find them in, in the field next to our house. Yeah, mm. arrowheads, yeah. arrowheads out of obsidian. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. But some of the um, other volcanic rocks can be um, carved into tools too, for sure. Mm -hmm. So what causes obsidian to form just first normal basaltic rock? 
That's the way it cools, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's. I'm not the expert, but it's it's quenched. It's it's volcanic glass, so the glass is um, quenched like instantaneously. So when um, it's the first thing to cool when a lava crystallizes, and so it's extremely fine grained. There's no chance for the minerals to grow large within it. So it's not like the rocks that Val's cutting open at all. Um, but you might see some parts of the rock that are more glassy than others. Um, I have a chunk of it the size of a bowling ball at home. The kids have been trying to make arrowheads ever since.